Okay, let's talk a little bit about precession. So to understand precession, there are a couple things we need to know. We need to know that the torque due to a force is equal to the, the vector from the um, pivot point to the point of application of the force crossed with the force. And we also need to know that torques cause a change in angular momentum in much the same way that in the same way that a for, that a force causes a change in um, linear momentum. So let's start with the case where there is no initial L. So here I have um, a bicycle wheel on its axis and it's um, attached to a pivot point right here. And I'm going to start with no initial angular momentum. So the wheel is initially not spinning. So I'm holding it um, horizontal to the floor, and then I'll let go. When I let go, the force of the force of gravity acts on the wheel, which produces a torque. So what direction is the torque in? Well, the R would be from the pivot point to the point where the force is applied. So if we do torque due to gravity is R cross FG, what direction is that? So point your fingers in the direction of R, curl them in the direction of F, the torque is out of the page. So torque is out of the page. And that will cause that causes the wheel to do what? Well, what would happen if you if you let go of the end? It would just fall over, right? So it would just go flump, which makes sense because if the torque is out of the page, that means the thing has to rotate this way. So how about if we start with a wheel that's initially rotating? So this wheel is rotating. Um, this way, and so if we want to figure out which way is the initial angular momentum pointing, we curl our fingers in the direction of rotation, and our thumb tells us that the angular momentum vector points this way, so towards me. So let's draw it in. Uh, let's do this red. So that's the initial angular momentum. Now, when I let go of the wheel, I'm going to have the exact same torque as I did in this case. So same torque out of the page. So now we can't just, you know, the torque is going to cause a change in the initial angular momentum. The initial angular momentum points this way. Our, so then um, we're going to get a little DL applied, added to this L. So DL by DT is the torque due to gravity, um, which means that the little piece of L we add is just an infinitesimal Torque is a torque applied for an infinitesimal amount of time. So, what direction will that be? Well, if we can find the direction of the torque is out of the page, so if the direction of the torque is out of the page, the direction of the dl is out of the page, so we have our initial angular momentum, and we're adding a little dl that's out of the page, which means that the wheel is going to rotate this way. So it'll go around like this. And that's all because in this case the initial angular momentum was non-zero and in the first case the initial angular momentum was zero.